Kicking in college football is serious business. It takes a unique talent to deal with the pressures that come with this stage. It takes skill to get here, and for one Gamecock, the road to this field was full of unexpected turns. About a year and a half ago, uh, our special team coach Joe Robinson uh, said we got this walk-on kicker, Elliot Fry, uh, from the Dallas area that uh, may want to walk on here at South Carolina. And so he came for an official visit and uh, we showed him around and so forth and offered him a chance to be our kicker and if he earned it, we'd put him on scholarship. You have to be confident and I think you have to be tough and I've said that about him a number of times. He is a very tough individual. And you know, I think sometimes in football we think of toughness as maybe how big you are and how physical you are, but the mental, the mental side of the game is just as important. For Elliot, the discipline he uses for kicking was a lesson learned long before he stepped on the field in South Carolina. I was actually playing hockey when I was seven years old in second grade, and um, I came off the uh, rink and sat on the bench and uh, just passed out, and so they took me to the emergency room and um, found out I had diabetes. It was really hard, and he didn't see a lot of the tears, but basically, I just told him, so you don't have it that bad. You just gotta give yourself shots, you gotta keep on top of it, you gotta keep going, because it's not that bad. You know, I, I think it's, it's helped me in a lot of ways as a person. Testing your blood sugar is a big part of diabetes, you know, just knowing where you're at. Um, and you know, our uh, athletic training staff does a really good job at trying to keep me on track with that and keep me on pace. Right now, what we'll do is, um, prick his finger and test his blood sugar. Um, and as long as it's within our normal range, then we really don't do a whole lot about it. You know, we let him go on and do what he's doing. Early on in his career when he first got here, we were doing a lot of that for him um, and making sure he'd have to come in the training room every day, multiple times obviously, and we would check his blood sugar and then I would look at his monitor at what he was doing when he wasn't here. Now, he does a lot of that on his own. I can't run out on the field and, you know, have to try to kick a 40 yarder and my blood sugar is low or you know, anything like that you know that could obviously really affect you know the game affect anything like that so I have to keep pretty keep it on a pretty tight leash especially during the games. Thompson's a little kid uh, from Prince of Peace he was diagnosed with diabetes and um, his parents reached out to me when I think when I was a senior in high school I think he looks up to me a little bit you know I think it's hard you know being that age and um, you know some kids handle it better than others and I guess I'm kind of a role model to him being able to, you know, especially seeing someone, you know, on TV and he sent me a bracelet in the in the mail one day before the season last year. And, um, you know, I thought it would be cool to wear it, so I told him I was going to wear it. And, um, you know, you look up to athletes, especially on TV, and, you know, being able to see something on my wrist every time I'm on TV, you know, to see something like, oh, I made that, you know, I think that's, that's pretty cool. Snap it back, put it down, kick it up. Up and good! Fry boots it through. One of the most important parts of my kicking game is, um, you know, moving on to the next kick. And I feel like I've, I've actually had a really, um, I feel like I've been really good at that through my career. I feel like, you know, if I miss one, I don't let it get to me. Um, you know, look back at all of it, and it's kind of weird to think, you know, I'm just a, you know, came in as like a 150-pound kid from Texas. I can't really picture, you know, my life any other way. Um, you know, I love it here. You know, I'm happy with, uh, you know, everything that's happened. Um, and I love playing for the Gamecocks. I really do. You know, all the fans and everything. Everything's pretty great here.